A resupply of autonomous UAS have been delivered by air. They are loaded onto a convoy of autonomous leader follower vehicles. The lead vehicle is crewed, with the remainder of the convoy uncrewed. Consignment is delivered to the Friendly Force Combat Team, loaded onto the Optionally Crewed Combat Vehicles, or OCCV, and prepared for employment. The uncrewed vehicles move to occupy an overwatch position on a ridgeline. They detect movement at the Target Creek crossing. In response to the sighting, the Combat Team Commander activates his UAS Swarm to conduct reconnaissance on the creek crossing and to identify the platforms that are moving in that location. This swarm has the capacity to enhance effectiveness of the land force using AI and autonomy to both coordinate movement and generate mass with significantly reduced human input and exposure to risk. The ISR swarm is relaying data back to the commander in real time. He remains in a concealed position whilst he completes his assessment of the threat and formulates his response. The ISR Swarm classifies the force as a motorized enemy platoon made up of four BTR-80s with supporting infantry. A warning order for subsequent action is issued by the CT commander. The CT commander then deploys a Swarm electronic warfare attack ahead of the main attack. The electronic warfare Swarm saturates the enemy position fixing and dislocating the enemy through denying communication and preventing calls for assistance. With the enemy isolated and their C2 paralyzed, they are now vulnerable. The ISR swarm continues to gather information with data passed in real time to the commander, allowing him to complete his plan and issue confirmatory orders. While the Swarm Electronic Warfare Detachment was moving, the uncrewed OCCV troop occupied a support-by-fire position, as per the warning order. The troop is capable of being remote or teleoperated at significant distance from the operators through waypoint navigation and leader-follower system. The CT commander launches a Swarm in attack configuration in accordance with his plan. The attack Swarm approaches the enemy position splitting into multiple packets with a subset commencing a top attack assault. The remainder of the swarm holds firm, ready to re-attack as required. To maximize its own survival, the swarm conducts evasive maneuvers to minimize the effect of enemy counter UAS. The swarm kinetic effects result in catastrophic damage to the enemy. It should be noted that at this stage, there has not been a human on board any of the platforms involved in contact with the enemy. At H hour, a tank troop with supporting mech platoon crosses the line of departure. The ground assault commences after the swarm has completed the first attack. The assaulting force is moving cross-country on a north-westerly axis and is prepared to destroy any remaining enemy if required. The ISR Swarm continues to provide real-time battle damage assessment and situational awareness to the commander. The crewed force elements stop short of the objective, allowing a dismounted robotic section to clear the objective while they provide overwatch. The robotic element systematically searches the position using advanced AI, image recognition, and context awareness to identify any injured, dead, or surrendering. Following the robotic team, friendly force elements will conduct the final clearance. This is the first point in time that dismounted combatants are entering the objective area. With the position cleared, 
resupply and reorganization is supported by vehicles through the autonomous leader follower technology. This maximizes the available logistic mass to the commander and minimizes the exposure to hazard. With the resupply complete, the remaining swarm elements are released to return to the hive, while the crewed members of the combat team move onto another task.